Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my guide on how to get the exotic catalyst and this secret exotic ship that I had within the Whisper mission. It's kind of my companion to my previous video on how to beat it heroic. Now you want to get the catalyst. The catalyst makes this weapon so important. Why? Well, it gives the weapon whispered breathing. Whispered breathing is like box breathing, except you don't have to proc it after every shot. It will stay active until you come out of your sights. It also improves the damage of this weapon by 60%, so that is why I've said before, and I'll say it again, I think this weapon is going to be kind of the king of DPS uh, in Season of the Undying, especially for the sniper point of view. So... The idea is, once you've beat the Heroic, you've beat the Norm, you've got the gun, you've beat the Heroic, now you've got the Catalyst. What you've got to do is, each each your first three completions of the Catalyst, of, of the, the Heroic mission, will give you 20% each completion. You have to collect five chests after every run, during each run, before each run, whichever way you do it. You have to beat the Heroic and get the Catalyst first. Then you've got to collect these chests. And in this run, I'm going to show you exactly where the five chests are. And then I'm going to show you how to get the exotic ship. So, last time I kind of cut out the jumping puzzle and make it easy for people when you're getting the chests. I would suggest do the heroic first. Get your completion, then come in and get the chest. So this is the first chest. Uh, it's quite, quite early on. But then the next, the next couple, there's one before you get to what people class as the green room. And then nearly all of them are access to the green room. It's one before you get there. So I'm going to actually, I'm not going to skip this jumping puzzle. I'm going to let you guys see how I actually do it. So, because I, I, I have a feeling that this is probably the reason people don't get it done so often. is because people have problems. Jumping puzzle. I'm using line rampants on the Titan. The Warlock can make that jump. So can the Hunter with Storm Peas and high enough mobility. But I'm going to show you guys kind of a special way to do... The green room on a hunter so the warlock and the titan will both do this the same way i always when i get to this part i always wait for that sliding wall to go in and out again and i always try and just jump past what i'm doing here is i'm trying to stay not tight against the wall because as we know about guardians getting stuck on pebbles if you make sure you're slightly away from the wall and you just keep pressing uh, jump you'll slide so get over here. Now, as I say, the jumping puzzle for the, for the, the the whisper is something that kind of stops a lot of people from doing it. My other my other guide, we skip all of this. Make it. That's why I said it, it's it's quite easy because it's not. It's listen. I I kind of got a, a bit of heat for this for implying that anybody can do this. If you're interested in soloing this then this is a good guide. If you're not, if you don't think you'd ever be able to solo it, then I would try and learn something from it anyway. You know, just, you'll always learn something from these type of guides. So, but th this is a really good one that, because it actually shows you how to do the catalyst. So, I always try and skip these platforms, you know, go from this one. You've got to hit this one in the center. As soon as I land on it, I'm going to slide, and that gets me straight underneath. And then right over to the second one, now, the best time to jump at this wall is when it's closed, but, I mean, because I'm so used to doing it, you know, you want you want to jump at it when it's open so that as you're in the air, it, it closes. So, as you can see here, I'm trying to show you the location of the second chest. So, make it over onto this wall, the portal wall. Run all the way over to the end. Don't jump into the last circle where you normally would. You'd normally jump into this portal up here. There's a ledge, you see up light, there's a ledge right against the wall, hit the wall, you'll land on the ledge. As you can see, I'm showing you the location, I'm trying to show you where the ledge starts. And go down into here, follow the pathway all the way down, and there's your chest. And then just come back out, same way you came in. And then follow the route back up, jump up into the portal. And this takes you into what people class as the green room, because well, there's a lot of green there. Now the Titan and Warlock will do it the same way. The Hunter has a quicker way to do it. But once, I, once I've once i done all the chests, we'll come back and I'll show you how the Hunter does it. So as soon as you get into this green room, it's going to be like a little hole in the wall, a little crack in the wall on the left-hand side. You, just right here. You're going to go in here, and this is where the third chest is. Jump over here, slide under here, and there's your chest. 
Now, this is possibly the hardest part of this. Is getting this little bit of jumping puzzle. So, you'll see here I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you how people feel. It's just not knowing where to jump from. We're going all the way around this, this, this room up into that crack up there. And there's a ledge you can land on and just kind of duck underneath and the chest is up there. So this is not where to jump from. You do not jump from that one. Right? So as you can see, I'm going to come back out and I'm going to look. You jump from this one. This one here. As you can see, jump up to the first one. Then you jump up again. And then you jump up to the left. And then when you land on this one, look up to your right. Jump up there. And then you'll see I'm going to jump. I thought I, I, I've just shown you guys, especially for Warlock, that'll be the way you'll jump around to that. And then up to this first ledge. And then up to your right. And then up again. And then you're going to head across to jump straight across to this ledge over here. You're basically going around the outside of the wall. There is a little jump there. I'm trying to show you guys that you can land. You know, if you don't feel confident jumping all the way over here, there is another ledge you can land on on the same side we just jumped on, jump from before you get here. Jump across here. This gap we're jumping across, when we do it on the hunter, the hunter's going to start from where we are now, roughly. So, there is no higher way. You've got to jump across to here. Land on this. And then just a little hop over onto this. And then jump all the way over. Now, I would suggest jumping onto this ledge we're on now. Because it's wider. That's more of a landing pad. Jump up to here. And then we're going up again. And then there's two platforms. You can jump over here, which I'd suggest. And then over onto here. And then once you land on this one, there's a little crack in the wall round to the right. So as you can see, I'm just trying to show you guys. You want to get in here and land on this green ledge, crouch down. And this is the fourth chest. Now, to get the last chest, the last chest takes us to the portal as well, where we're going to access the schematic for the exotic ship. So when you come out here, you'll see kind of just to the right, you'll see like a, a light coming out. You want to land in here. And then it's just... Couple of platforms, couple of levels you've got to jump up onto. And this will take you to the portal and the fifth chest. Now, just to make you guys aware, you have to complete, for the Catalyst, you have to complete the Whisper on each burn. So, Solar Arc Void. And you have to do these chests after each run. You can do them before you do the run, but you have to do them in conjunction with each run. That gives you the 100% for the catalyst. So once you land on the port, there's like a little dark platform. You see me jump into it right now. Land on the platform, then look to your right. You see there. Jump across here, and this is where the last chest is. So, that's how you do it on the Titan and the Warlock. Now the green room is done slightly differently on the Hunter. The hunter can skip quite a few of the little kind of niggly jumps. That's the exit. If you want to get back out and continue your run of actually completing the whisper, that's how you get out that entry, that exit just above the, the fifth chest. Just keep going up there and it'll take you back to where you actually came in. So the hunter, when, when he comes into the green room, the hunter's going to go, now I've got Stompies, I've got about 70 mobility, I've got a... A lightweight frame weapon on. Go all the way at the back here and there's a ledge above you. Double jump up onto the ledge. And you've skipped half that jumping puzzle. More than half of it. Just keep going up. And now we're at the point where we jump across. There we go. Really easy. As you can see, the hunter can make that big jump across onto this ledge. And then up. And then up again. Now the hunter's just going to miss out that corner jump. The Titan and the Warlock can both make that jump. But it looks like when you're making that jump, it looks like the jump is lower than you. It's not. It's actually higher. So try and get some height on that jump. 
So how do you get the exotic ship now? Well, I'm going to show you this on the portal first before I explain how to do that. If you look through the portal from a different side, you can actually see the Destiny 1 raid, the Vault of Glass. The reason why they've included this is because there was a bit of folklore that there was a hidden portal within the Vault of Glass. Now, anybody that remembers D1, this was the portal you had to get to to get the No Time to Explain quest. Really cool. So, when you stand on the plate, a series of oracles will appear with seven of them. And they're numbered from left to right. Furthest one to the left is one, furthest one to the right is seven. You, ha you have to shoot them in the right order. But there's three waves that you have to shoot. So, once you shoot the, the correct ones in, in the first wave, they'll all disappear, then they'll come back. Shoot the second wave, same again. Third wave, chest will appear in front of you. When you open up the chest, you'll get the ship schematic. To complete the ship schematic, same as the catalyst, you have to complete it on the burn each week. So you have to do a solar, an arc, and a void. And it changes each week. So on the screen, I'm going to put up the order in which you have to shoot the oracles so that you guys can do it. So there's three in the first wave, five in the second wave, and then it's all of them in the third wave. Make sure you use a scout rifle. You can, I mean, if you're doing this, you probably haven't got the whisper, but it's probably worthwhile using a scout rifle. And once you've fired, once you've done the third wave, you will get the schematic, and that will be the end of the end of this. You'll never have to do this portal again. You only have to do it once to get the schematic. And that's it guys, that is how you get the exotic ship and the catalyst for the Whisper. Remember, you only have to do the portal once. Once you get the schematic, you then have to complete the Whisper on each burn, which is three consecutive weeks, the same as the catalyst. And for the catalyst, you need to get the chests during, before or after each completion. As you can see on the screen, it's a completely different ship. Next on the list is the Heroic Zero Hour. I hope you guys will check that out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody that stops by and I hope this helped you guys a, a bunch. If it did, leave it a like. Any comments would be welcome. And I will see you guys in the next video.